Hi, welcome to the last part of the optimization tutorial. This part is on a cluder. There are no hint and skip or area portals in this map, just an occluder. And to see the effects of a cluder, you must have a wireframe on. So I'm going to turn on a wireframe. Alright, you'll see the dogs are all here, but if we go on this side of the wall, <coughs> they're not being drawn because of the occluder. You'll notice if you get close to the occluder, they start to get drawn. That is how the occluder works. It's kind of stupid, but I mean, if you step away from it, they stop getting they stop getting drawn and thus saving optimization. And I'm just gonna show you how to make these. These are really simple. I don't use them that much, but I mean they do help. So just go into Counter Strike. All right, we're in Hammer now, and this is the occluder here. It's just a brush that I have made. You just to do this, you just select your no draw texture. And you apply it in front of the wall, and these work like uh, area portals, kind of. They have to be touching. They have to be in one area. In fact, they cannot be in two areas. So after you make your cluder, you want to browse for trigger. And you want to apply it to the faces that you want the cluder to work on. So usually just the two large sides and the four smaller sides. You leave no draw. Now you want to press Control T. And go to occluder. Now in the occluder, you'll notice that you have name and initial state. <coughs> There's active and inactive. Active means that it's going to block what's behind it, and inactive means it won't. That's it. That's pretty much all there is to know on occluders. So, for a recap, in case you didn't know what happened, we went over funk detail, leaks, fixing your skybox, airy portals, occluders and no drawing materials, and a couple other things. I'll put annotations in each video to the other videos, so you can jump around to see what you need to do. I hope these tutorials have helped you. Um, keep watching, don't forget to subscribe.